How are we doing? You doing okay? Yeah. I can't match that. There were five of them. <laughs> That's cool. We're going to start with a quick survey. We're going to start with a quick survey. Okay, ladies. Ladies. Yes. Hello. Yes. Ladies. Clap it up if you've ever tried to drop a hint for a guy. Clap it up. Now keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Now keep clapping if it worked. Okay, okay, all right. All right. That was about 4% of you, okay. That was, I feel like yours wasn't a hint. You're very loud and I feel like you don't give, you give appropriate hints. This is how you drop a hint for a guy. Guys, back me up on this. First, you buy a billboard. <laughs> then you put your message on the billboard. Is that, is that enough? No, you get a separate billboard across from that billboard and then physically tape him to it. For a month. Okay, even then, there's only like a 25% chance that he'll read it. And if we do read it, you know that there's only like a 12% chance we think it applies to us, right? Like, I can stare at a billboard for a month and be like, Adam, put your socks in the hamper. Sucks for that dude, right? <laughs> what am I getting down from here? <laughs> I know why that you think we can get hints, okay? It's because you think we speak your language. You have your own language. Guys, don't they? Ladies, you speak telepathically. Guys, have you ever sat between two girls on a couch and they don't say anything, they just look at each other and one starts laughing and the other one starts crying, you have no idea what the hell just happened? My friend right here, this guy, there's a reason I kept eye contact with you when I said that. Because I didn't have to look around this room to see that a hundred women, as I said that, did the thing that I was talking about. They're like, do we do that? And she's like, mm, I got you, bitch, I know, we got it. You can just look at each other and deliver a message from like seventh grade. You know the story that's ever. Like, that one time she's like already there. It's not fair. A few of you ladies won't laugh at any jokes tonight until you've checked in with your friends. I saw some over there just doing it. They're like, do we do that? Yes, we do. No words exchanged, just eyeballs. It's not fair. I wish I could deliver a message that way. I'm gonna try it with this guy. You ready? I believe in us. Okay, ready? Go. He thinks it's a staring contest. Or that I'm hitting on him, either way. Not the result. <laughs> I'm gonna say something right now, and, uh, and the guys are gonna laugh at it, but not like that they're laughing. And the ladies are gonna laugh, and they're gonna try to hide it, and they're gonna snicker, okay? <laughs> Let's see if I'm right on this. Okay. Guys, have you ever been to a meal with a girl, and you hear her make a noise for the dessert? <laughs> that you've never heard her make before, and especially not for you. The guys are like, haha, not cool, bro. Every girl besides you was like, <laughs> This is real, this is real. Hey, this is real, this is real. I took a girl out to dinner before, and for dessert, she got salted caramel creme brulee. Did you just freaking hear yourselves? How many of you just had a food curve moment? You're like, oh yeah. I saw a girl over there slide down in her chair. She almost slipped and slid out of her chair at the thought of the food. You ladies are a bunch of food pervs. smell it, you just heard the words. At least dudes have to like see it. I can't be like, yo bro, round titties. And he's like, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> and guess what? If you didn't make a noise to salted caramel crab really, that's because that wasn't your food. You're waiting for me to say chocolate. Or cheesecake, or red velvet cupcakes, or cookie dough, or ice cream, or mint chocolate chip, or key lime pie, or peanut butter, or pizza. <laughs> Yeah, I think you just married pizza, but... You know what's funny about that? I think a lot of people forgot I was telling a joke. And they just wanted me to keep listing the foods. Like, this is the best part of the show. Like, see the opener for Ben & Jerry? This is wonderful. A bunch of food perks. I wish I could be a food perv. Are you kidding me? 
I swear, if I could be a food perv, I wouldn't even be showcasing for you right now. No, no, I'd be back at my hotel having a three-way with key lime pie, mint chocolate chip ice cream, and red velvet cupcakes. Now, a few of you are thinking, Adam, wouldn't that be a four-way? No, it'd still be a three-way, because I'd just sit in the corner and watch. Now, it's all over each other. There you go. Let me see that cookie crumble. You know what's funny? Most of you are laughing, but still, some of you are like, that sounds really good. <laughs> when do Ben and Jerry show up? <laughs> I love performing at colleges because I realized we're the last great generation because we grew up like playing with games and playing outdoors and stuff. Um, I was on the airplane recently, and I saw a dad with a two-year-old, and he gave the magazine from the Seabag Pot to a little two-year-old, and then I watched a two-year-old try to swipe the images on the paper. <laughs> That's the future. If you bring me to your school, I do have a joke on every board game. People that have had me know this, you could test me. But uh, can I talk about my favorite game, which is Bop It? Did you guys grow up with that? Did you take it in the car like I did growing up? Yeah? Did you realize how much our parents wanted to murder us? Bop It, twist it. Someone should adopt it. That's what should happen. That was the most suggestive game, wasn't it? Why was he so excited that you were touching him? Don't get weird on me now, Afka. I did not make this game. And it wasn't like a nice voice, like, Bop it, twist it, pull it. No. Bop it, twist it, pull it. But he sped up like a creep? Are you kidding me? Twist it, pull it, twist it, pull it, pull it, bop it, pull it, don't stop. Pull it, pull it, you beautiful, pull it, pull it. And before you think I'm making this dirty, I think we shouldn't have given this game to kids. Okay, it's not me making it dirty. What sound did Baba make when it couldn't go any longer? Ugh. <laughs> Baba, twist it, pull, twist it, pull. Ugh. Really? I was half expecting Baba to apologize. Like, Baba, it's embarrassed because it usually lasts longer. <laughs> you should take this as a compliment. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if Baba got really emotional? <laughs> Afterwards, and it was just like, spoon it? Wouldn't that be the best? Okay, if you're not laughing, you're not picturing yourself spooning with a bopping, you need to do that. You think it'd be the little spoon, right? Nope, it's the big spoon. You know why? Because he'd be like, pull it. I'm like, not tonight, bopping, I'm tired. He'd be like, pull it. I'm like, I already had salted caramel creme brulee. I don't need you. <laughs> The people that have had me recently know that I actually have genuine messages in my show. I only got 10 minutes. I know, that was not a joke. <laughs> I only got 10 minutes here, but I try to point out the things that uh, we grew up with and what's so weird about them, like Disney movies, like Sleeping Beauty. Does the prince make out with every pastel girl he finds lying in a bed? They should call that Law & Order SVU. That's the new thing. My favorite one is The Little Mermaid. You guys know that one? The one where Ariel trades her voice for legs, the prince finds her naked on a beach, and she can't talk, and he falls in love with her. Because that's how love works. He doesn't know anything about her. What does he know? She's got who's it's and what's it's galore, and he wants in. He wants thing with Bob's, and she's got 20, okay? And by the way, this is weird, but like, we all overlook the fact that Ariel just got her lady parts for the first time. Now, that first time I told you was shocking, so I can tell you again, we can laugh about it, so I'm just gonna turn around. Okay, she just got up for the first time. She doesn't know what she should do with it or who she should show it to, she's Ariel. She'd probably just make a song about it, right? Like, hey, Eric, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? What did you think my collection's complete? Keep going, keep going. Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? <laughs> Don't ever call it a cavern, please. And she just got it yesterday. She shouldn't test how many wonders it could fit. That's a terrible game plan. She's like, I've got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. Like, no, put it down, Ariel. It's day one. Pace yourself. Well, Prince Eric wants to show me his dingle hopper. No, you run from the dingle hopper. Alright, that's my time, but before I go, I want to show you something I have that you can 
have if you book me and it helps you promote the show. Okay? That's why I have these things. It helps bring people to it. So shirt one is Bob the Twisted Poet, 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 Poet. The back says that's what he said. <laughs> now this is fun new shirt number two. It's a baseball team. And it says hashtag food perv. I'm proud of it. Alright, I love you guys. Keep being awesome. Thank you so much, Adam.